Hey guys, welcome to another A Sprite tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to easily make tile sets. This includes grass, rocks, bricks, you know, stuff like that. So to start off, we're going to start with a 32 by 32 pixel canvas, RGBA, tran and transparent background. Okay, this is our canvas. So for this, I'm going to go to View, Tiled Mode, Tiled in both axes. Now as you can see, it's tiled in both axes, and I can draw in one square and it'll show it, show what it would look like on the right, left, top, down, and corner sides. So this is great for tile set making. So to start off, we're going to start with grass. You get the fill tool out first, and just spray it down some green. Alright, now get your spray tool out and spray some darker green on top and make sure you go all in the other tiles so that it's more more seamless all right now you're gonna go to your blur tool and blur it all up all right next you want to add another layer of green a darker layer of green and now use the blur tool again and you can use it a bit more get some rough spots all smoothed out okay so that's that that's the grass and let's look at it in just no tiled mode let's say you want to tile this in a game let's say go dots or click the infusion then you would then it would automatically tile correctly and seamlessly all right so now I'm going to do stone and I'm just organizing the different tile sets I'm doing but with layers. So to start off, let's just fill it with a, a dark color, a gray color. That's good. And let's tile it in both axes. And let's do a gray blue thing down here in the Google UI palette. So now we're, we're just going to draw bricks. Alright, so now that we have the basic shape of all our rocks formed out, we're going to fill them with a darker color. So, I'm just going to go here. Alright, so now let's fill in all the rocks. You have to be very careful with this because you can only do it on the tile, on the original tile. Alright, so now our rocks are all filled in. Now let's shade the rocks. So now that we've done our darkening of each stone, we can select all the spaces in between the rocks with our magic wand tool. Make sure you've got it all selected. And now use your blur tool to blur it all in. And now you've got blurred cracks in between. So that's how you make this seamless stone texture. And also you can make this for Minecraft, you just have to uh, do a bunch of file man management, and by Minecraft I mean like you can make a resource pack with this. But that's up to you. I'm doing this in the con context of game development. Alright, this n last tile set for today is going to be bricks. What we're going to do is start drawing rectangles. Rectangles across the entire thing. Make sure you space them out evenly. Alright, so now that you've 
drawn your rectangles, you can start erasing the seams. And now we have to break them up. So let's draw lines in the center to basically break them up. Alright, so now that we've broken up the blocks, let's fill in the space in between with a lighter blue. And now let's fill in the blocks with a slightly darker blue. And now let's do shading. Also make sure all your blocks aren't exactly the same. Okay. So now, select the spaces in between the bricks. Get your blur tool out and start shading that in. And now, you have some pretty good looking bricks. And you can change the color and modify the tile however you want. Look at each of the tiles that we made in no tile mode. These are our bricks have to place this sprite and duplicate it a bunch of times to make it look seamless. This is our stone, seamless in all four directions, and our grass, which is also seamless in all four directions. Alright guys, I hope this video was helpful to you, and I hope it helped you uh, with whatever tile set situation you were in, or a sprite situation. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya!